Okay, so we just left Dragon's Terrace at Quintessa Vineyard and Winery, and we made it down to what looks like a parking lot. But as you can see, there's these little um, openings here, which lead down to the fermentation tanks that are un literally underneath of us. Now, Greg was telling me about the process that they go through during September, during the harvest, and how they get the grapes from the vineyards down here and, and make sure that they only get the best grapes possible. Now, it sounds a bit uh, like the Willy Wonka chocolate factory, and if you're not the perfect seed, you get, you get uh, kind of kicked out of the bunch. Is that right? That's, that's correct, yes. Okay, so you get the grapes down here, and then what's the next step? Uh, basically, we're going to be bringing in interns from winemaking schools all over the world. Uh, we're going to have quite a large contraption set up here, uh, multiple sorting tables. So the first table, basically, we're looking for perfect clusters. Right. So some, some clusters are going to be sacrificed. Let's say they're at the end of a row, they might turn into raisins. So no big deal, we're going to toss those aside and put those back out into the vineyard as compost. Uh -huh. maybe, some, uh, maybe a poor pruning decision was made, so canes would be crossing. Um, those clusters might be too close, acquire a lot of moisture, they might rot. So we'll set those aside as well. So anything that's perfect is actually going to go through to the destemmer. Uh, perfect little ripe grapes are going to pop through the holes, stems will go one way. Everything else goes onto a, a big shaker table. So while the grapes are passing over this, anything smaller than a perfect grape, for the most part, is going to fall through this grate. Everything else continues on to the last sorting table, where there's going to be six people on each side, picking out anything that's not a perfect little berry. So at the very end of it, this tub that you're going to see is going to be the most beautiful pile of grapes you've ever seen in your life. That's awesome. The, re the reason I say it's Willy Wonka-esque is because remember the scene in the Willy Wonka chocolate factory, the old one, the good one, um, where they had the they tested all the eggs, and if you were a bad egg, you <laughs> fell through and you were you were gone. Yes. That's kind of like that with grapes. It's like if you're not the perfect grape, you're not going into Quintessa's wine. Exactly. All right, cool. Well, let's go see where they go. All right.